Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Cancer, for the first half of November 2023. Let's get right into it, Cancer. How are you all doing? If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Cancer. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on a Cancer, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But welcome, Cancer. Welcome, welcome. Let's get a Moon Oracle card. Oh, a time for healing the balsamic moon. Oh, time to heal it up, Cancer. I like that. And you and your loved ones are safe. My favorite card in the Moon Oracle deck, the new moon in Cancer. Such beautiful confirmation that you and your loved ones are safe. Spirit is protecting all here, Cancer. Animal Spirit Guide, Animal Spirit Guide for up in the ether for the sign of Cancer. Spirit, tell me about the sign of Cancer. Tell me what's going on with the sign of Cancer. Oh, the spider at a crossroads and the bear coming out of hibernation, feeling like you're just waking up. Waking up from some kind of dream or nightmare here. Let's see with this crossroads. I'm curious about what you're trying to decide here, but very strong. You've saved up your resources. You've saved up for something here, some kind of uh, hmm, big change, maybe. Zen tarot card. Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of cancer. Spirit, tell me about the sign of cancer. Tell me about the sign of cancer. Understanding. I love that. Ooh, and the dream. You really have been dreaming, dreaming about something. Look at this beautiful, beautiful vision that you have here and the understanding coming to you. Maybe about this vision or about this dream. Let's see what this is all about. A, uh, what are you thinking about right now? What's on your mind right now, Cancer? What are you thinking about? Work, working together, looking at your money, looking at your plans here, looking at your dreams here, trying to refine something. What's Cancer looking at? What is Cancer looking at here? What is this all about, the Three of Pentacles? What is Cancer looking at, Spirit? Contracts. Contracts with the Seven of Swords. Looking at contracts. Maybe some offers come in or some ideas come in, and you're really putting that down on paper. Can I make this work? Can this happen here? Feels like you might have to leave something to get something started here. It might have to let something go. What's that? What's the hope and fear here? What's the hope and fear in this new uh, path? Bankruptcy. Oh my God. The five of pentacles. You're really worried that this might not pay off financially or that you're going to be left out or you're going to leave something good behind for maybe something not so good. I'm wondering uh, uh, what the, what the pluses are. <laughs> what are the pluses in this new offer? Ooh, the magician. You get to do your own thing. You get to make your own uh, rules here, be your own boss here, starting on some kind of brand new adventure, really lights up your heart with that cup, just really lighting up here. I love this. I love this. Deciding what to do, where to go. What do I want? Spirit, what's your advice? Ten of Pentacles, that's what you want. The security, the safety, the uh, knowing all is well, the uh, resources are all around you. You have the right resources coming in here, Cancer. Something's coming in and it's removing this bankrupt mentality, this uh, thinking that there's not enough here or that somebody's going to break a contract here. Five of Wands, there's the publishing card. Maybe you're looking to sign on with something or you're looking to expand here. What are you feeling about this decision? What is Cancer feeling in the heart space about this decision, Spirit? What is Cancer feeling? Oh, the Five of Cups, you are letting it go. You're letting yourself heal here, allowing yourself to really heal. I love this, letting the disappointments go. And there's a huge bounty behind you. Once you make this decision to let go of the past, let go of the fears here, the niggling fears in your mind about how things could go wrong, you're going to turn around. You're going to see these regrets are not serving you. It's time to let them go. It's time to let them go. What led up to this... Uh, Letting go of the disappointments for cancer. What led up to the five of cups in the heart space here? Really letting go of the disappointments. Wow, look at this with the ten of swords and judgment. My God. My God, somebody broke their promise or broke their word, went back on a contract here, broke 
broke your trust here. Somebody has absolutely breaking, broken your trust here. But you're gaining this new insight on you and how you react to things and how you look at things. So that's beautiful. You're moving some of these fundamental beliefs of who you are and what you expect behind. You're letting go of those expectations expectations because you're so tired of being stabbed in the back you're so tired of being let down and disappointed here disappointments have become overwhelming so you're just letting them go i love 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 this four of cups you've been waiting for something to come through the door waiting for some opportunity waiting for something to change here but realizing it's me that has to change i have to let go of the way i react to things or the way that i feel about things i can't just keep myself mentally in poverty mentality that there's not enough or there'll never be enough i'll keep continuing to find the problems here rather than the solutions but now you're on this solution finding you're on this understanding quest here and that's when all the answers will come to you cancer look at this with the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck and the queen of swords right beneath that wow really getting your uh confidence back here you're not second guessing yourself you're not looking at anyone else for the answers here wow do i love this temperance coming into the heart space here cancer wow very fiery very balanced Coming into some massive understanding here about your reactions or the way you feel about things, the way you feel about things, knowing that if you don't change your thoughts here, if you don't move out of this poverty mentality, you're never going to get this fresh start. You're never going to get this uh, uh, do over here because you're so uh, looking back at what's gone wrong here or how someone has disappointed you here. Or maybe you're feeling like you disappointed yourself here with the four of cups in the heart space. That could very, very well be, but it was all for purpose to lead you to this moment of decision here about your finances, about your money, about your stability and security here. It's all up to me. I put the responsibility on too many other shoulders. This is about me. This is my responsibility to feel differently and to think differently about things. I really love this understanding you're coming into, Cancer. It's really beautiful, really beautiful, because you're going to be so balanced after this. You're not going to just be looking for the wrong or looking for the, the negative or how things always go wrong. What's the foundation here? The three of wands. Look at this. Time to go. Time to make the plan here. Time to get going on something here. Your heart really does want to get going on something here. Something new. You want to hear a different tune. What led up to these plans? What led up to this? What led up to this? Nine of cups. You had a dream. Cancer had a dream. And you're bringing it into reality now. You're understanding that you were you were the one holding yourself back. Your fears of being bankrupt, of being in some kind of poverty status here, I really held you back from going for it. But then you just you just let it go. The 10 is all about the endings. The 10 is all about letting that fear go and moving toward the new day, the sunrise there. The sun is much, much lighter uh, in the 10 of swords card because of the dark you've gone through here. So how beautiful, bringing that dream in. There's some dream, something here you want to go for, you want to make happen here page of cups look at this how beautiful you want to declare it you want to sing it out loud sing it from the mountaintops here i've got something to say i've got something in within me there's something burning down in my belly that i want to get out and maybe there was just you were too fearful to get it out before you were too fearful of uh being left behind or being uh, left in the dark here so wow wow a new understanding about that Future foundation, future foundation for the sign of cancer. Tell me about cancer. Ooh, making an offer to someone. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Really revealing yourself, showing someone who you are here, declaring something out loud, just speaking it out loud. Maybe it's been hidden or you kept it down there for so long. It's just you forgot maybe your own calling here or your own dream here, but something has awakened like the bear. You were hibernating on this. You were thinking about this. You were planning this. You were strategizing this, but now here it comes. Here comes the tangible here, Cancer. It's beautiful. Look at strength on the bottom of the deck. Wow, did this give you some power, gave you all your power back. This decision, this decision to uh, bring this dream in, to do something uh, for yourself here. It's quite beautiful. There's that Queen of Swords again and the Elevation card, the Hierophant card, the uh, uh, higher contract, the bigger contract, the spiritual contract here. You're letting that in. I'm loving that. 
it's it's showing you these understandings it's it's allowing you this elevation this rising up the seeing the bigger picture here for you is really allowing you to let these fears of poverty go that you were only holding yourself in prison here with these fears of what could go wrong because of what had gone wrong in the past here so Boy, you are ready to let it go. Let it go. Look at this strength still on the bottom of the deck. I love that because you're walking away from such chaos and confusion and darkness here. And real betrayals, real betrayals that cut you deep. It, it didn't, uh, it, it hurt. It very much hurt, but it brought you into this bigger understanding of your dreams and your power and the influence that others have over us. So this is absolutely enlightening. You're just coming into such a period of enlightenment here. Tell me about this decision. Tell me about the three of pentacles after cancer's kind of woken up the awakening of cancer here. Page of wands going on your own journey, choosing your own path here, not letting other people's contracts get into your way. Maybe their karmic contracts or their karmic lessons, really letting that go with the five of cups in your heart space and focusing on you and your dreams. What's this poverty mentality with the seven of swords and the five of pentacles? Four of Wands, some kind of marriage, some kind of contract here, and justice. Look at this beautiful karmic justice coming to you. My God, you're seeing the other side of something. You're seeing this bigger picture, this way it could be. I'm going to bring in today what I want tomorrow, the way it should be here. You're making a decision that I'm not wasting any more time. I'm not wasting any more time being down or waiting for the other a uh, shoe to drop here. I'm getting my power back. I'm getting up. I'm letting these swords fall out of my back and I'm singing it out loud. I'm, I'm declaring what I want here with judgment. Absolutely love that. What are these disappointments that you're letting go of and the 10 of swords, this betrayal? What is that all about? Ooh, look at this. Mr. Mr. Emperor steps into the picture. Somebody very controlling, somebody who had to have the last word or just some kind of impression of, uh, uh, let's do it my way. Let's do it my way. It has to be done my way. And so you were appeasing. You were really trying to f figuring if I can make my externals good, my internals will be good. And then you came into this understanding that it's the other way around. I have to feel good inside. I have to feel good about me. I have to be my own emperor and impose my own rules and thoughts here. This is uh, nobody can intrude on my thoughts here. So you're really taking your power back, uh, letting go of the externals, letting go of the chaos around you, and there was absolutely chaos around you, but understanding until I feel good, nothing will uh, move me out of this poverty mentality, that this is up to me. I have to get into alignment first and then, and then move on, and then. So there was a big imbalance in the past, a big upset in the past, some kind of oppression, some kind of suppression of your energy here, Cancer, and it had you on the ground. It had you on your knees. Uh, almost begging for mercy here because this power was so uh, a strong, very, very strong imposition of energy. So, wow, wow, you're breaking free of that. You're just uh, using your energetic machete here to move it aside, move it aside. What's this truth that you are pushing aside, your truth that you are pushing aside? Oh, my God. Look at this cancer death and rebirth. This is a brand new you, brand new of the way you feel about things. And that's all that matters. You've come into this massive understanding that I have got to get into alignment to see things differently. It's all about how I feel. And there it is. Look at this with the sun coming in. Here comes the sun. Little cancer, it is here. <laughs> It's here. So happy to see this. I am so happy to see this optimistic, hopeful, uh, new outlook of yours. It's really, really beautiful. It really sheds a light uh, on that dark, on that oppression, on that power that uh, was imposed upon you. God, do I love this. What's this temperance cancer coming into balance here, coming into complete balance here? Oh my God. And the high priestess, you're channeling now. You're channeling spirit. Third eye wide open. Third eye wide open. You can see so much more than you could before. Maybe because the veil is so very thin this time of year here. But my 
God, are you in alignment? You're just really coming to alignment, into alignment here. You were out of balance. You needed the rest. You needed the hibernation. You needed the quarantine here to gain your power and strength. And also there was this energy, this very forceful energy that uh, really was hard to uh, push aside, but you've done it. King of Pentacles, look at this. I'm loving this in your foundation. Really, really feeling secure and set within yourself here. Coming into alignment. Cancer, there's no other way to say it. This is a rebirth for you. And it's showing you that what's going on on the outside does not matter. Things will always go on on the outside. Things will always be thrown in our path. It's how I react to it. You are letting go of the knee-jerk reaction that has always been yours, and you're doing something different. You're doing something different. It's like, I don't have to fight that battle. I don't have to get involved in this one. You're stepping back. You're removing your energy from the places that you are not needed, and you are infusing it into your heart here, into your experience here. It's glorious. Any kind of oppression, any kind of overbearing nest that has gone on it's just spirit moving right through it here move aside now cancer is ready cancer's ready you've knocked down that barrier here but you're about to declare something and i want to see what that's all about what is this page of cups here for this declaration of cancers what is cancer declaring look at this with the four of pentacles i love that and judgment oh my god what was dead is now awakened. It's just you're declaring that you are awake now. I see now and I'm moving on. I'm moving on from the choppy waters. I'm moving on from the things not working out. I'm tired of living in that stream. I'm tired of living in that poverty stream where there's never enough. I have to hold on to everything I have. I try to save. It just seems to leak out the bottom because of that tight grip, that tight hold you had on things. You really were in hibernation, not letting anything Thing come and disturb this piece of yours. You needed it. You needed that piece to have this massive rebirth. And it has everything to do with your alignment, coming into alignment, allowing spirit to make the rules here, not other people. It's not up to them. They're not allowed in my thoughts. They're not allowed in my dreams. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely taking your power back here, coming into alignment, coming into that number one, that so low, that proud, walking tall. I got this. I got this. I see the other side now. I see uh, what was holding me back and it was the disappointments. It was the fear that things were going to go wrong. I'm removing that fear. I'm taking that veil of fear off. I'm looking forward. I'm wide awake now. I've gone through a massive enlightenment, a massive transformation, and now I got my confidence back. Now I've got my self-esteem back, and I know how worthy I am. Yes, yes. God, do I love this reading. Really, really finding your happiness here and your joy here, Cancer. God, I love this. It's so freeing. It's just letting you out of jail, letting you out of some kind of oppressor energy here where somebody else got to make the rules. You are free making your own rules here, fighting your own demons here, which you're doing so beautifully because you're looking within. How can I change? I cannot change those things around me. How can I change? I'm the only one that can change here. And I can do it. I can do it. I can change. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I hope it goes viral. <laughs> Whew. All right, Cancer, I think I will leave it here. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, Cancer, and I'm loving this beautiful rebirth of yours coming up here. So leave me a comment. Let me know what that's all about. And I am sending you so much love and light, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.